So you're going to need some 3% hydrogen peroxide, some sodium hydroxide, which you can also get at the store. It's just, it's just lye. It needs to be 100% lye, though. That, that's really important. You also need some potassium ferrocyanide, some luminol, because that's like the main thing of it, distilled water, two 500 milliliter beakers or whatever you want to use, a scoop, and a stir bar. You also need a hot plate. You can kind of see it in the left. Oh, and yeah, and a scale too. Scale would probably help. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to drop stir bar in, and then we're going to add 500 milliliters of water. So once everything was filled, I turned on the stirring and then I added the sodium hydroxide. Now I added a arbitrary amount. It was just a spoonful. Uh, a lot of people like to measure out and use sodium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate and ammonium carbonate. I just do not have ammonium carbonate and I opted to go with the sodium hydroxide. I just want to note that this kind of reminds me of Twister right here. Like just rampaging through some small town and all the poor people are just getting destroyed. Anyway, you can actually see that it's mostly dissolved now. So we're going to set that off to the side. So the next thing is we're going to weigh out about 0.1 grams of luminol. This is the only measurement I think I use in this entire thing. Uh, until later in the video, which you'll see why. But we got about 0.1 grams here. So now we're going to add that to the alkaline solution. And then we're just going to let it stir until it fully dissolves. So in the other 500 milliliter beaker, we're going to add 500 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. It just needs to be 3%. You don't need to get anything concentrated. This is just the easiest way. Now, I also ran out. So I had to go get another bottle uh, and come back. But I do fill it up all the way to 500 milliliters. So I'm going to drop a stir bar in. I'm going to turn on stirring. And then I'm going to add the potassium ferrocyanide into the hydrogen peroxide solution so that we'll have two beakers of two different solutions. The purpose of the potassium ferrocyanide in this is really to be used as a catalyst. It speeds up the rate of the reaction between luminol and sodium hydroxide, thus the chemiluminescence will be a lot quicker. So when you mix the two solutions together, it will emit this blue color. Now the only problem is mine is awful. I see barely any blue, and I was very confused. In a fit of rage, I almost drank the potassium ferrocyanide just to end it all, but I decided to look up a procedure online, and I actually found one. So this one called for a one molar solution of sodium hydroxide in bleach, though I decided to take the bleach out and use the potassium ferrocyanide. The only thing that I changed is a little bit more of a concentration of sodium hydroxide in the solution. And then also I almost doubled the amount of potassium ferrocyanide as well. So I got both beakers and decided to mix them together. And to my absolute joy, it worked even worse than the last one. Well, then I got pissed and decided to mix the bleach with it. And of course, the bleach worked better. Maybe that's why I should follow more procedures in the future. So let's actually go over the mechanism of luminol. Luminol reacts with the hydroxide salt, a dianion is formed. The oxygen produced from the hydrogen peroxide then reacts with the luminol dianion. The product of this reaction, an organic peroxide, is very unstable and immediately decomposes with the loss of nitrogen to produce three amino phthalate acid with electrons in an excited state. As the excited state relaxes to the ground state, the excess energy is liberated as a photon visible as blue light. Also, do not think I'm smart. I literally just read this online. I actually wanted to show you the last time I did it, I actually used potassium ferrocyanide and the sodium hydroxide solution, and I got a really good result. I do not remember the procedure. I don't even remember doing it, but I have the video of it. And I just wanted to show you how well it actually works when you want it to work. So as every chemist loves to do, uh, I actually like to play around with the chemicals and so I put the potassium ferrocyanide into the solution and I know it's a catalyst. So it's going to speed up the reaction a lot. And I got this really cool effect 
where it lit up really bright and then almost immediately went away when I swirled the flask around. Also in the next clip, you'll see me add a bunch of hydrogen peroxide. I don't really remember the reason why I added so much into there. Uh, I also spilled outside of the flask as well. But when I added the luminal on top, it created this super, super cool effect. And I still want to know what that top section is. It created this deep blue, like gas light coming out of it. I don't know if it was the nitrogen that was released and it was just there. Uh, if someone else can explain in the comments, I'd love to know. Uh, but it created this really cool effect. <laughs> 